Shalom. This is Reuben Abramov, the Haftorah man, and this week's Haftarah is from the book of Joshua. We just finished reading a parsha called Shalach, when Moses sent the twelve spies to tour the land of Israel. And now, in the prophetic reading, the supplemental reading to the parsha, the Torah, we have uh, the men of the great assembly that chose this fantastic Haftarah. You got to hear the story. So, 600,000 men between the age of 20 and 50 on the Trans Jordan. They're waiting to conquer and divide the land of Israel. Joshua, the leader of the nation of Israel, for less than 30 days, has now picked two men this time. One, Pinchas, and the other one, Kalev. And they are the two spies that are going to send, be sent into Jericho to see how to conquer the city not whether they should take the land or not. And they go in there, and where do they go first? To Rachav. Rachav was known as one of the four of the most beautiful women that ever lived. By the way, she was also a prostitute, or she had an inn where people would come and eat food, and naturally they would hear all the goings on around the country, what's happening. So these Israelites would be able to come and conquer the land of Israel with this information. Well, practically as soon as the two men get there and they get to Rachav's place, the word gets out that these Israelite pottery salesmen are hiding out at Rachav's. So the king, he sends these two uh, guards to collect these men and Rachav, who has been waiting for many years for the Israelites to come and conquer Jericho, so she is actually ready to convert to Judaism, she denies the fact that these spies were still there anymore. She says they ran for the hills, and you as well should run for the hills, and the gates of the city close. She takes these two men and she hides them up on her rooftop so that no one should find them. And she tells them to wait there, and then she sends them on their way. But before they leave, she says, listen, I saved your life, now you must save mine. And they say, fair deal. Just when we come to conquer the city of Jericho, we want you to hang a red thread from your windowsill. Yes, the famous red thread, and probably the or origin of the red light district concept. So now, Rachav, her mother, her father, and her family are all in this house um, when the Israelites come several chapters later in this Haftarah. So the men these two spies leave Rachav's house, sliding out the window, down the rope, and they run for the hills where they are instructed by Rachav to wait there for three days till the coast is clear. And they return to Joshua, and they explain everything that happened to them, and this is the story of this week's Haftarah. So, as far as what do we learn from this, we learn that there's a way to do things in three steps. First step, should I do it? Second step, how to do it? And then, go and do it. Once you get past step number one, and you go to step number two, you don't go back to step number one. And this is a decisive way of moving forward in life. This is the message of the great Haftarah for Parashat Shalach. Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the Haftorah.